Hey guys, this is Heather with The Pampered Chef. How you doing? I'm doing this short video about the Stealing Hearts game. I don't know if all of you are um, familiar with Stealing Hearts, but basically it is a type of recruiting um, game. It's supposed to get people um, asking questions and getting answers to questions that they would have uh, about the business and to help boost your recruiting. So I'm going to tell you what you need for this. You need a um, you need to get a deck of cards, which you can get a two decks of cards for a dollar at the dollar store. Um, you're going to need some little prize bags. You can get 10 packs of these guys for a dollar, and this is a good size. You don't, really, don't want to do anything too big. Um, you can get these for a dollar at the dollar store, a 10-pack of them. And then you want some small prizes, either Pampered Chef stuff. You can do a rub or a citrus peeler or pan scraper, anything like that that you want to put in there. Um, and you can also do, I've done little... Um, notebooks with cute pens and manicure sets, just little inexpensive things that are fun to get as a prize. Um, so you want to have those. And then the other thing that you want to have is um, some labels um, to put questions on the back of your catalogs. Okay, so the way that the game works is you, um, oh, real quick, let me tell you about what you need out of the deck. So you don't need a full deck of cards for the Stealing Hearts game. All that you need is all of the heart cards and the um, all the spade cards. Um, so at the end of your cooking demonstration, when everybody's kind of sat around paying attention to you, um, you're going to start the game by telling everybody um, the name of the game and that the way that it works and the way that they win is by asking you questions um, about the business or about hosting, depending on what you're interested in um, getting. You can do both. Um, and then, so when people ask you a question about the business, you're going to go ahead and give them one of the heart cards. And you want to make sure that the cards are all shuffled too, by the way, separately. Um, so all the spades should be sh shuffled and then all the heart cards should be shuffled as well. Um, you're going to hand out um, all of your heart cards and um, the reason for the questions being written on the back of the catalogs is that anybody who's tried to do like the ticket game or anything like that, you know that a lot of times, more often than not, sadly, you ask people to start asking you questions and there's a lot of silence. So this kind of helps eliminate that. You just tell people if they're quiet to begin with, if they don't just have a bunch of questions for you right off the bat, say, okay guys, you can look on the back of your um, catalog and get a question. Just ask me the question that's on the back of the catalog, whether you care about it or not. Ask me the question. Um, because that's the only way that you're going to get a card, and that's the only way that you have a chance at winning one of my little prize bags. And they'll start asking questions. Um, so I have several different questions on the backs of these, like, um, do you have to be a great cook to do this? What kind of hours do you work? How much money do you make? What are the benefits of the business? Things like that. You want to ask any question that you want people to know the answer to to get them excited about this business. You want to put on the back of those catalogs. Um, so the way it works is that once you have handed out all of your heart cards, you want to try to hand out all, I think it's 13, um, 12 or 13 of the cards in that suit. So once you have, you know, and there's going to be people with multiple heart cards in their hand. And the stealing hearts part of it is that once you've handed out all of those heart cards, you're going to take now your spades deck, shuffled again, and you're going to um, call out, uh, depending on how many, if you have two prize bags, two or three prize bags, you're going to choose, call out um, two or three um, of the spades cards and just, you know, you have them shuffled, so just pull the next one and the next one and the next one. Um, and the f so whoever has those numbers are going to be the first people to get a prize bag. And then the stealing hearts part of it is that you're going to continue to work your way through all of the spade cards, calling out the numbers and the face cards. And as somebody hears their card called, the one that they've got um, in their hand, they can steal this bag from somebody else who had it previously. It doesn't matter who they steal it from. It doesn't matter which one. Um, and they can, they can be, they're going to, the bag is going to be going back and forth to different people um, all the way till you get to the end of the spades deck. And then whoever is left with a prize bag by the time you are done getting through all the cards, that um, those people are going to win the prize bags. So Anyway, um, hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, if I need to clarify something, um, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments below. Um, thanks, you guys, so much. I appreciate it. And let me know what other videos um, that are going to help you in your Pampered Chef business that I can make for you. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye.